Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this uh, video series, I hope it will be like two three videos where I'm going to discuss the topic of my PhD. I recently um, finished my PhD in the domain of artificial intelligence and fault diagnosis from University of Lille in France. So I want to create a, a video series where I will just uh, show my thesis just present my thesis the way I did during my defense and uh, hopefully it will help some people who want to pursue their PhD or their research in this domain it will give them an idea of uh, what is the state of the art a brief introduction how I approach the problem what way my methodologies uh, something in the similar term so in the first video I'm just going to talk about the introduction and probably a little bit about the state of the art of my entire thesis okay so let's get started so the topic of today's presentation is a robust hybrid fault detection and isolation by integrating bond graph and artificial intelligence which will be applied to green hydrogen production this thesis is carry, carried out in PASI team which is a part of crystal lab from university of Lille. the entire thesis is uh, sponsored by a french ministry however we have a collaboration an industrial collaboration with the uh, French railway company SNCF so this presentation is divided into total six different sections starting with the introduction then state of the art following some novel methodologies that we have developed and how we applied the methodologies for fault detection and isolation of electrolyzer which is applied in green hydrogen production and railway track finally the general conclusion so i'll start with this presentation with a small story on 15th january 2023 it was an unusual day for germany it was so windy in the north and thousands of wind turbines placed across the land and sea were generating enough energy to power the whole country however Unfortunately, this energy could not get to where it was needed and eventually the wind turbines needed to be slowed down because of how fast the wind was and it could have damaged the turbines. Meanwhile, in the south part of Germany, there was a shortage of energy. All power plants needed to be fired up to meet the energy demands. So this highlights one of the main challenges in shifting to renewable energy sources. That is the intermittency. So what could be the solution? Here we propose a very simple solution, which is water. I mean to use the hydrogen present in the water as a medium to store excess renewable energy. The hydrogen generated using purely renewable energy is also called green hydrogen. The hydrogen can be separated from water using excess amount of renewable energy and it can be stored and transported as needed. As you can see here. This is a schematic of how green hydrogen is produced and used for various purposes. The excess energy left after satisfying the electricity demand is used in an electrolyzer to generate hydrogen gas from water. This hydrogen gas is then stored in a pressurized container to be directly used in the industry or it can be used in a fuel cell to generate electricity whenever needed. However, this green hydrogen production system is very intricate as you can see in the schematic diagram and it involves multiple energy domains such as wind turbine, solar panels, uh, chemical energy used during the electrolyzer if fault in a single component remains undetected it can very easily affect the entire system and lead to financial losses as well as safety concerns hence it is very crucial to perform accurate fault diagnosis in such kind of multi-energy systems so fault diagnosis has three main stages fault detection fault isolation and fault estimation however in this research we just focus on the fault detection part and isolation part 
which we also uh, call as FDI. The two main FDI methods are physics based method and AI based method. For the physics based FDI, we need to create a mathematical model derived from the physics of the system. Then by comparing the response of the real system and the mathematical model, residual signals are generated, which are the indicator of faults in the system. Some advantage of the of this uh, kind of method includes they are interpretable because they are based on physics. We do not need much historical data and the computation is relatively very fast. However, some disadvantage include poor fault isolation, not detection, but isolation to exactly specify from which component the fault is being generated. They are usually less robust to noise and they require accurate mathematical model, which is most of the time difficult to get from the real system. In the AI based method, first the historical data of the system is used to train an AI model as you can see in the schematic and then the trained AI model takes the data from the system as input and predicts the false state of the system. Some advantage of this method include they are very accurate if they are trained properly and it does not require any prior knowledge about the system. We don't need to know the exact physics. We just need the data from the sensor, historical data from the sensors and some fault categories. Disadvantages include they require huge amount of label data and there is like lack of explainability always. Hence, we can see both FDI methods have some advantages and some limitations. In this thesis, we try to combine both of the FDI method to develop a hybrid one. These are the main research object that is to reduce the amount of label data which is required by the AI model to be trained on. We want to evaluate the fault isolation ability with respect to multiple simultaneous fault. Self supervised learning method that uses vast amount of available unlabeled data and the physical model of the system. And finally, we want to make the decision from the AI model more explainable. The results of this work has contributed to four main deliverables published in two journal articles and two international conferences. So now we are going to have a look at the state of the art on hybrid fault detection and isolation. So the literature review that we have done, it is arranged in such a way to go from broad topic to being specific. First discussing the types of hybrid FDI present in the literature. As one of the objective is to reduce quantity of label data, we review available literature on that as well. Then about the use of self-supervised learning and explainable AI used for fault detection and isolation. Finally, we discuss advantages and limitation of existing literature for FDI of electrolyzer and train track, which are the two applications of our uh, thesis. FDI methods can be divided into three broad categories for now which we before saw physics based, AI based and right now a new one which is hybrid one. In this thesis we just focus on the hybrid method. The hybrid method can be further be divided into physics physics, AI AI and physics and AI combined. However in this one we just focus how we can combine a physics model with an AI driven model. Again, the combination of this physics plus AI can be further divided in multiple stages such as uh, parallel combination, series combination, mixed combination. In parallel combination, the decision from multiple methods are fused with majority voting or Bayesian method. In serial combination, information sharing occurs between the methods and in mixed connection, there is both information sharing and decision fusion. Our research is focused on series and mixed combination. We have two main objective for this thesis while, develop, while developing a hybrid FDI method, how to reduce the quantity of label data and how to make the decision from the AI model more explainable. Coming to the first part, in order to reduce the quantity of label data, one can use the digital twin of the system to generate synthetic fault data. Also, 
प्योर ए आई बेस्ड मेथड सच एज ट्रांसफर लर्निंग कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज इफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ लेबल डेटा फ्रॉम अ सिमिलर टास्क इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल टू अस हाउ एवर इन दिस रिसर्च वी फोकस ऑन रिड्यूसिंग द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ लेबल डेटा बाई इन्फ्यूजिंग प्रायर नॉलेज ऑफ द सिस्टम इन टू द ए आई मॉडल कमिंग टू द सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इन द एक्सप्लेनेबल ए आई मेथड कैन बी कैटेगराइज इन टू ग्लोबल एक्सप्लेनेशन और लोकल एक्सप्लेनेशन बट For real-time explanation generation during fault diagnosis, we need to focus only on the local explanation. Further, the local explanation can have two different types, such as model agnostic and model dependent. And as we want our uh, explanation method to not depend on what type of AI model we are using, we are focused on model agnostic approach. So, after this literature review, we can synthesize them into four main points. Firstly, the focus is more on the improvement of prediction accuracy in the literature, but the aspect of quantity of training data and explainability of prediction is often neglected. Secondly, the effect of various types of fault on the FDI performance is not well discussed in the context of hybrid FDI methods. Thirdly, even though self-supervised learning has already been used to leverage large number of unlabeled data. the existing method use random signal transformation to generate pseudo labels here none of the existing method try to introduce physical knowledge from the system to generate the pseudo labels finally to generate explanation from the uh, from the prediction two main methods are used one is sharpley value and another is uh, lime or otherly known as local interpretable model agnostic explanation but the problem is sharp sharply values are very expensive to compute if you take the model agnostic uh, approach of sharply values and if you take the lime method they provide often inconsistent explanation so these are the main uh, synthesis from the literature review and in our methodology we try to tackle this more this uh, four points so yeah for this video that is all and uh, what i want is uh, if you want the rest of my thesis to be presented in in a video do comment that do comment that in this video and yeah i look forward to interacting with you in the comment section